Great threes, and welcome to another chapter of math. Chapter one was a great success, everyone. We had awesome marks. I couldn't believe the marks you got in the chapter one test. Chapter two is going to be even better. I just can feel it. And what we're going to learn about in chapter two is representing numbers, which basically means how do you take a number and show what it looks like? And we could do that in many ways. We could either take the number and write it into words. We can take the number and um, show what it looks like using money. We can take the number also and show what it looks like using base 10 blocks. Now that being said, let's take a look at our starting lineup. First, in the corner, wearing orange square boxers, standing at an incredible one centimeter tall. He's feisty, he's cute. And he looks like Elmo. Please welcome Mr. Ones. No, Mr. Ones, wrong spot. There you go. Next, in the other corner, also wearing square boxers. He's the size of 10, Mr. Ones. Standing at a wanky 10 centimeters tall. Please welcome Mr. Tens. No, Mr. Tens, wrong area. No, wrong. All right. Next, we have someone who couldn't fit into any boxers. He loves Big Macs and it shows. He stands 10 centimeters tall and 10 centimeters wide. He's the size of 10 Mr. Tens. Please welcome Mr. Hundreds. And last but not least, we have a beast. He's weighing in at the size of 10 Mr. Hundreds. Please welcome Mr. Thousands. And there you have it, everyone. Our starting, our starting lineup for base 10 blocks are the thousands, the hundreds, Mr. Tens, and Mr. Ones. Now let's go back to the drawing board again. So how do we represent numbers now using those blocks? Well, we just learned the spots, and, and you have to go in this order. So I could do that right now. I can go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And I'll write up below it here. I'll go ones. And another word for ones is the units. Okay, so the, both words will appear on a test. Make sure you understand both of them. I could say the units or the ones. They're the same thing. And I'll go thous. So these here are our starting lineup. These are the spots that we can write our digits in. Now recall something here. The only digits we're given in, 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 in our number system are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And using these digits, we can create all the possible numbers that exist. And um, we're not limited to anything here. We can go forever and make the largest numbers or the smallest numbers. Now, some numbers are made up of only one digit. What kind of numbers are made up of one digit? Well, just pick one of these, you know, pick like the number 4. Okay, that's a one digit number. Some numbers are made up of two digits, like the number 24. Okay, 24 is a number and it's made up of one digit over here and the other digit, four, right here. Other numbers are made up of three digits and some are made up of four digits and five digits and there's no limit to the amount of digits to make up numbers. But the value of the number gets a little bit tricky. For example, if I said, um, how much is a four worth? Well, you tell me it's worth four. Ah, but not so quite. Gets a little tricky because sometimes it's worth four only if I write it over here. Like that. If I write the four, oh, that was ugly. If I write the four in the one spot, that basically means I have four ones. Let's clear this board. Let's go. That means I got four Mr. Ones. I got one, two, three, and four. So if I put a four in this spot, I have four ones and they are worth four. But what if I do this? What if I write a four over here? So I'm not writing it in the ones, I'm writing it in the tens. Now you all know how to count by tens, I sure hope so. You did well in the test. If I write it in the tens, I'm going to have four tens. One, two, three, four. Count them. 10, 20, 30, 40. So now this four that's sitting in this spot here isn't a 4. It's a 40. What if I write a 4 over here? Well, what that, what that really looks like is this. For these guys, the Big Macs, the, the hundreds, the Big Mac eaters. So I have four of them. Ooh, that was, here, let's put it here. Oh, no. Okay, like that. Ooh, it's not working out too well. But I have four of them. Here, I'm stacking them. 
It's not working. Okay, so I have four of them. They're all clumped together here. Count them all. 100, 200, 300, 400, because they're worth 100. So this here, this 4 is worth a 400. And likewise, if I write a 4 over here, well, that means I got 4,000s. And if you count by thousands, which we never learned, but I'm sure you can guess, it'd be 4,000. So depending on what place value you write the numbers in, and that's what we call these. We call these not just places, okay? They're place values because they determine the value of the number. Let's do some examples. Let's read this carefully. It says, in the number 395, always important to underline key information. In the number 395, so I'm going to underline in the number 395, which digit is in the hundreds place? So I'm going to underline the hundreds place. That's important. So let's, let's write it out. 395. Let's underline each digit. Let's label each digit. So this is called the ones. This is the tens the hundreds like that and they're asking us in the number um, in the number 395 which digit is in the hundreds place well let's take a look since we labeled it we could just look at the hundreds place and say it's a three reading this question example two let's underline key information again state the value okay that's important to know we need to know the value of each digit each digit in the number 476. So I, un I underlined all the key information here. I need to know the value of each digit in 476. Let's write 476. Here it is, 476. Underline each digit. Okay, now let's look at the value. Pointing at this one, the value of this one, I mean, yeah, you could write ones, tens, hundreds. Now, that doesn't answer the question. If you just say, six is in the ones, seven is in the tens, and four is in the hundreds, that's not enough. You have to state the value of it. So what's the value of six ones? Six ones, taking a look at this again, six ones would be worth, let's take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Count how many there are in the ones. There's six of them. So we'll go back to here and we'll write the value of six ones is value equals six. How about in the next box? Seven tens. Let's let's go back to the drawing board again. Seven tens are gonna be worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the value of them? Well, now we can't count by ones anymore. We count by ones here. Here we got to count by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's the value. So the value here is going to be, let's change color. Let's, let's go to green. Let's go value equals 70. How about the value of 400s? Looking at it, it is going to be 1, 2, 3, oops. Okay, three and four. There's two clumped together here. So count by hundreds now, not by ones, not by tens, but by hundreds. So we're going to go 100, 200, 300, 400. So we'll write the value. The value of the four is going to be 400. Here's another one. State the value of each digit in the number 904. So we need to know the value of each digit, each one, in 904. So if we write 904, okay, again, what's the value of, let's start with the 4. How much is the 4 worth? Just 4, right? We have 4 ones. Here, these are tens. Here, these are hundreds. All right, hund. So the value of 4 is just 4 ones. How about the value of 0, 0 tens? Well, how much are 0 tens worth? Let's Let's take a look at it. So four ones are just, well, four ones. You just put four ones in here. Like that. How about zero tens? How, how do you show zero tens on this mat? Yeah, exactly. You don't show anything. It's zero, which means it doesn't exist. So the value of zero tens are just zero. So we'll go back to here and we'll say the value of the zero is just zero. How about the value of nine hundreds? 
Now I could go back here and put nine of these here, nine hundreds, put nine of them. It's going to get really crowded, but can you count by hundreds? What's the answer? 900. So we have the value of this is 900. Put it all together. What does this number say? It says 904. 904. So oh, example four I'm going to do on this page here. And the question is going to be, what number does this represent? Okay, what, what's the actual number this is trying to show? So let's go in order here. Let's, let's say we have, um, let's do here, let's do red. So what's the value of this spot? Well, we have three hundreds, right? So if I'm going to write it out, let's do three. Yeah, that doesn't, that didn't turn out too good. Let's do... Yeah, let's do let's do black. So we have three hundred. We have three tens. Three three, and we have two ones. So that's the number. The answer is three three two. How do we read this number? Well, we say three hundred, and then three tens we know makes thirty, and this makes two. So put it together, you get thirty two. Three hundred thirty two. And the last question, what number do the following base 10 blocks represent? Let's underline key information. What number, so what number, do the following base 10 blocks represent? Okay, so these are base 10 blocks. What do they represent? Well, again, let's, we can make lines again here. We can go ones, we can go tens, and then what's the last spot? It's a hundreds. Okay, so what what does this all represent? What is it trying to tell us? Which number is this? So, I mean, start with one. Let's start with hundreds. We have one, two, three, four of the hundreds. So what am I going to write in the hundreds spot? I'm going to write a big four. Put a big four. Ooh, that got a little nasty there in the bottom. Both four. How much do we have in the tens? Well, let's see here. We have two tens, so we'll write a two. And then we have four ones, so... Um, let's again remember ones are the same as units so we're gonna write four units now how do you read this number let's go one at a time we have 400 okay so we have 400 and then two tens makes 20 and then four ones makes four put it together you get 24 so you say 424 Now it's your turn. Take a moment to pause the video and try these two questions on your own. Then come back when you're ready. It's the 9. So the answer is just 9. Practice number 2. Just count them one at a time. Nine of them. So put the number together. Now the question doesn't ask this, but the number would read 529. Now take a moment and look at this practice question. Try it on your own and come back when you're ready. Okay, we're back. What number do the following base 10 blocks represent? Tens. I'm going to have to write small and squish it in here. Hundreds. So follow along where I'm going here. Ones, tens, hundreds. Count them one at a time. We have two hundreds, so I'll write a two here. What number does it represent? Let's read it. Two hundreds make 200. Five tens makes 50, and five ones make five. So 255. In the last question, Gets a little tricky here. Don't, I hope you didn't get fooled by this. These are just ones. We have one, two, three, four, five ones. So what do we do in the middle spot here? Do we just write the answer as 35 and say, oh, that's the number it represents? Uh-uh, don't do that. Because look, we still have to put a number in for the tens, even if it doesn't exist. So we don't see any tens. We put what number? We put a zero because there are none. So what does this number say? It says 300 because we have 300s and five so 305 had you written it this way it would have caused a little bit of a problem because look at the place values this number is in we have a five sitting in the ones and we have a three sitting in the tens what does this number here say the, th the three and the five it says 35 but look when we look at the picture there isn't 35 there's 305 this would have been wrong here this is absolutely wrong we don't have 35 blocks, we have 305. Well done everybody, that's lesson one in chapter two. We're gonna be going through a series of these and learning how to represent numbers in different ways. This was the first example. So job well done, keep working hard, I'll see you in the next lesson.